Now we're ready to run the cable into the house. You can do this in a number of ways. If you've got satellite TV installed, you can oftentimes follow their cable and run it alongside that cable into the house. You can run it underneath a flashing and next to a vent pipe through the roof, into a vent, or you may need to drill a small hole in the wall and run your cable through. Make sure you seal it up well with silicone or some sort of sealant to make sure that no water or insects can get through. You can also use the optional piece of flat coax cable and run it underneath the window. You can also connect your antenna to pre-run cable already in the house. Just connect the antenna to an unused connector on the outside of the house, then connect your booster to the other end of the cable. A coax testing tool comes in really handy here to find which cable is the right one. Whatever method you choose, we recommend putting a drip loop in your cable before it enters the house. A drip loop is simply putting a low spot or loop in the cable so that any water running along the cable will run to that point and drip off there instead of running into the house. Once you're inside the house with the cable, run it to where you'll be installing the booster. Now we're ready to install the inside antenna. Click here when you're ready to move on to the next step.